Before we start the video, guys, I do want to give a huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles for making this review possible and sending us both these figures our way. If you would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10% off your order to pick up all of your epic WWE action figures and more. What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite Figure 2-in-1 review of the brand new Elite Series 72 Batista Batista, you stupid jackass and the man Becky Lynch. Now I'm very excited for both of these figures. These are actually two of my favorites coming out of the set behind Buddy Murphy and Roderick Strong obviously because those were my top two but these are probably my next two because I am just I've always loved Batista and Becky Lynch has probably been my favorite woman in in the company ever since like 2015 so I am very happy for this and I am excited. Becky Lynch has always just brought it man and, and Batista he's Batista man. We literally watched this man go from a deacon to the freaking just baddest man on the planet before our eyes. The way he was booked when I was younger was just fantastic I just freaking loved him man and seeing him recently come back and take on Triple H at WrestleMania 35 was such a pleasure and to get a figure of his last match ever that is really special and I can't wait to add it up on the shelf. I'm also a really big fan of the attire so if we spend the packaging around guys we will see that you get a picture of the animal and the man spinning it around again the same thing you get the figures in the wave another picture of the animal and the man you get some little read ups if you'd like to pause it now you can read it and just freaking mess that up we spin it to the right you will get some more pictures from the match at mania 35 and then a random night on smackdown with the random jacket and the farts in the back becky lynch and then spinning it around to the front is completed for your packaging guys but now let's go ahead and crack the animal and the man at of their packaging. I like it when they fall. So here is Batista and Becky Lynch out of their packaging, guys. Looking pretty freaking swell, I might say. I totally forgot that Becky Lynch does come with the double-jointed knees. This is a big, big test here to see if women will eventually join the pick fed, man. This is a big step forward for the double-jointed knees, and we get wrist hinge, and we don't have the slap in hand, so this is a really big deal as far as pick fedding and women are concerned coming into it. So this is a very big test for us here today, guys, with this Becky Lynch Elite. So fingers crossed everything turns out well. We're going to find out here today in this review. Also, my first thoughts on both figures is very very good. I like both of them very much out of the packaging. You guys know when I take them out of the packaging before I show you guys the figures I do pose them around and play with them a little bit. I don't just stand them there. I actually you know bend them around, see what they're about, see how many loose joints we got, see if there's any defects and things like that so that we can dive into it deeper. But how we're going to do it guys, we're going to cover Batista's accessories and then Batista and then we'll run it back and cover Becky Lynch's accessories and then Becky Lynch. So let's go ahead and get started. So getting into Batista's accessories guys, you can see here what all he comes with. No t-shirts, no bull crap like that, no jogging pants, no nose ring, no nothing like that. However, we do get a microphone that we've seen 652 times now, and it is the triphone one or the triangular one, whatever you want to say. It's not square, you know, it has a triangle microphone pad thing over there, and that is basically it with your microphone because you know he wants to be like, give me what I want, give me what I want, give me what I want, give me what I want. Huh? So that's that's basically it with the microphone. You also get the white sunglasses, which are really beautiful. Love the way this looks. We're going to go ahead and put this on the figure to see if this even fits. So we're going to go ahead and put the glasses on here, make sure they fit the figure pretty well. And I like that a lot. I, I like the way that fits. Oh, snap. Are they wide enough? Are they wide enough? Yeah, they fit, they fit pretty good. I like the way that looks. So yes, the white sunglasses do fit the head, and they do look good on the head sculpt, as well as the Hollywood hat or the fedora, whatever you want to say. It's not a fedora. It's, a, it's like a golf hat. I don't, I don't really know what to call this. But anyways, it fits the figure nice. You guys know that Batista likes to wear this hat. You know, he went Hollywood, so you automatically have to wear this hat regardless. So there is that, and then if you want to put the sunglasses, so let's put the sunglasses on, and then we'll put the hat on. So yeah, Brad, that works out pretty good right there. I like the way that looks. They actually do fit both of them. So that's it for the accessories that he wears, and then you have the interchangeable hands. Now, this is what I like to see. We get fists, and then we get an open mic holding hand. You get the same thing for the right hand, so you get a right interchangeable hand that's open, and then you get a 
left interchangeable hand that's a fist as well to go with these. But that's pretty much Batista's accessories. We saw these pretty much exact accessories with his Elite 33 figure, except no denim vest this time. So now that we've covered Batista's accessories, let's get into Batista himself. So taking a close look at Batista, guys, let's go ahead and dive into this head sculpt because you guys know we have to compare a photo to what he actually looks like, and I am actually enjoying this head scan a lot. I feel like, you know, it's not maybe as old as maybe Batista looks. Maybe it's missing some great details in there somewhere, but I think ultimately it definitely looks like Batista. I am a fan of the head sculpt. I think it is better than the basic that we're getting from that WrestleMania line very soon if it hasn't already dropped. So I am a fan of this head sculpt. I think it does definitely look like him, and I can definitely get behind this head and everything like that. So that's really nice. One thing I will say is I wish that it came with a nose ring. I think that would have been really cool to see. Maybe even an interchangeable nose ring head with him screaming, you know, like, give me what I want. I think that would be hilarious. Give me what I want. So that's just something that I think would be a really nice touch. But, you know, we didn't get it. It's all right. Maybe we'll get it down the line or something. Maybe a nose ring head sculpt. You know, I know they can do nose rings because we've seen it from Sheamus. So that's, that's something to take note of. Can't say they can't do it because we've seen it from the, the big old mohawk Sheamus. Well, moving on to the rest of the figure, guys. The best thing about Batista figures is the tattoos, right? I mean, the tattoos is where the money is at. And just look at all of this tattoo detail that we got going on on this. This is his first figure, I do believe, that has included his rib tattoo here, this tattoo here on the little uh, chesticle. His American flag, this is something that me and Brad discussed. I don't know why they didn't add the, the rest of the stripes over here. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that that's a thing. Um, he's supposed to have, you know, the flag over here, but it's supposed to continue onto this trap. So I'm not sure why they didn't include that. I could be wrong that it's not, you know, that he doesn't have it continue, but I'm pretty sure he does. And if he does, I'll definitely pull up a photo and stuff. Also, this is the first one to include his tattoo on his belly button that is actually, you know, covering up the old classic sun logo that used to go around his belly button. He ended up getting like two phoenixes with some skull crossbones and like some fire back there so that looks really good on the back guys i mean my god at all the tattoo application and all the detail really nice touch right there to continue it you know pushing this forward you know sometimes the finn balor paints most of the time don't continue that so i'm glad to see them continue the back tattoo right there underneath the ab crunch all of this detail looks really nice the colors are popping off very well all of it's just beautiful man i mean it's, it looks fantastic i'm pretty sure that yellow detail right there is new i don't think that that yellow detail detail was there on the last figure or the Elite 30. I'll have to double check that. We are going to do some comparisons, so it's just something I wanted to do. They did give him the Elite 33 Batista torso. Not a huge deal. You know, if you want to switch it out, I guess you could, but you will lose some of that tattoo detail as far as, you know, some of the tattoos that would be missing. But moving on into the trunks, guys, we've seen all the tattoos now. We're going to move down into the trunks, and I really like these trunks. I thought that they were really cool when he came out at WrestleMania 35. You have the Batista logo, which I've always enjoyed in red. You have the Batista in black with white outline. On the butt cheeks, we do get like a little animal logo and then some tribal stuff coming off. You have his beautiful thighs. You have the tattoos of his dogs right here on his right thigh, which I thought is very, very nice right there if you guys can see the dogs. Large knee pads that I hate because they hinder articulation. We have the lower legs that are in black. And then down here in the boots, I love the boots. These are some of my favorite boots in wrestling. So to see him here molded in red, I love this because I actually want to do his attire from like, I think it's like 2009, 2010, where he had, you know, the red boots like this. And I, I want to do some something cool with that and make an attire or two so that's probably something I'll do. Another thing you could do is possibly switch the lower legs with the Elite 30 Batista if you didn't like the black calves, and you could make it where he has his tattoos. And another thing is, is actually he didn't wear boots like this. He actually wore some shin guards, and then he wore some LeBrons on his feet, so that's the way that this looked. But it looked close enough to this so that they could do it, and I think it makes a lot of sense to do it that way. Mattel nailed that, so that all works for me, man. But, but that pretty much does it for our Batista in-depth look, guys. So now what we're going to do is take a look at some Batista Elite figures your comparisons. So getting into our Batista Elite figure comparisons, guys, you will see the brand new Elite 72 here in the middle. We have the Elite 33 Blue Batista here on the left side, the Hall of Champions Target Exclusive Batista, the Elite 30 Batista, and then the Elite 2 Batista. I think the only Elite Batista we're missing from this comparison is the Elite 6, which is basically the Elite 2 with some updated tattoos. But comparing it to, like, the most recent Elite Batista, uh, as far as, you know, down the timeline here, you will see the difference in the tattoos. You have that rib tattoo, you have the chesticle tattoo, and 
then of course the belly button tattoo and the dog thigh tattoo. And here's a comparison of the back tattoos which are virtually similar. Very much the same except for that yellow detail that I was talking about down here in the left hand corner. And then if we put the Elite 33 Batista back, he's on ball joints. This figure is not on ball joints guys. If you were wondering, this Batista right here, the new one, is not on ball joints. And comparing the elbows, actually he does have the yellow tattoo right there. I've just never noticed it because of the elbow pad so that's something to take note of. But it's pretty cool to see all these Batistas up next to each other man. I really like them all. I'm a big Batista guy. If you guys have ever seen my Batista shelf, you guys know that I always love Batista. His figures are really fun to collect. They're more rare figures to collect, so having a brand new one is very nice to see. But that pretty much does it for our Batista Elite figure comparisons, guys. So now let's go ahead and take a closer look at Becky Lynch's accessories. So on to Becky Lynch's accessories, guys. She does come with a beautiful soft goods jacket is what, what Mattel and Bill Makina like to say about it. Soft goods there. And it does come with a leather jacket. Looks very, very nice. Very cloth like. Feels very good in the hand. Doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. This is a huge step right here is that you do get interchangeable hands and it is these open hands right here that look really good. I like the way they look. I like Mike holding hands better than fists so we're just going to go ahead and interchange these right now. Oh snap. I'm noticing that the women's hands are actually a lot more snug it feels like inside the hands here. So we're going to pull these out. You guys can kind of see how long that takes. And then we're just going to plug the open hands in here and see how well they fit. How snug they are. If they're loose or anything like that and they feel pretty good so that's a good sign and then popping in the other wrist and there you go so you do get interchangeable hands and they do both look very good they both feel good and everything like that and here's the soft goods jacket again you got the i am the man logo on the back gold outline becky lynch right there popped collar and everything i'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the figure so that we can see what she looks like in it so here is becky in her leather jacket and i think it turned out pretty well you know the sleeves don't come all the way down but i think that, that is the design of the jacket i think it's supposed to fit more like a baseball tee if i'm if i'm not mistaken there but the black jacket does look good on there the uh, the logo on the back looks great i like the way it fits and you know it, it just looks good i really enjoy this man a soft goods jacket is always appreciated for me and anything better than those stiff ass arms you know what i'm talking about the rubber ones where their arms just flail out to the side and it looks terrible the great american bash sting is what i'm talking about so this is very nice to see but that pretty much does it for her accessories guys so i guess what i'm gonna do is take off her jacket and we're gonna dive into the man herself so taking a closer look at the man herself guys we will see that this is easily, I think, in my personal opinion, the best Becky Lynch head scan. You know, they have struggled to do a Becky Lynch. I mean, I've said it many times on the channel. I've said it in many videos that they just could never nail the likeness of Becky Lynch, but I think they finally got it right right here with this Elite 72 Becky and the new basics that are coming out, I think, maybe slightly better than this. It's like the, the application of the True Effects technology actually work <laughs> almost vomited. Actually works a lot better than the Elite, so maybe we'll have to see that when those basics basics drop, but I do like the way this head sculpt looks. Um, I'm a big Becky Lynch fan. You guys know that, and so this, this makes me happy to finally see this coming out of here from Mattel, but taking a closer look at the head sculpt, we love it. I love the hair and everything. It could add some depth, maybe if you add some dry brushing or some different colors to bring out, you know, the different highlights of the hair that would probably make it stand out a little bit more. Going down, you have the man t-shirt on there, which looks pretty good. You have the bare arms, the mic holding hands that we've already covered as far as the wrist articulation and stuff. Going down, you have just a lot of paint detail. Nothing as far as like sculpt work, but it's just like a plain. It's basically just a slated figure. It's like a naked figure with just with painted on clothes. You have her stockings or whatever you want to call it. Her socks. Her double jointed knees that I do want to take a closer look at right here so you guys can see how well her knees bend compared to a normal Becky Lynch figure. So this is how far her knees bend uh, with a regular fi or with the new Elite 72. And then we're going to compare it to her first basic, I do believe, that only only gets 90 degrees so I did want to show this off so you guys can kind of see the difference here and that is a very big difference as far as knee articulation that's actually not even 90 degrees so that is just something that you want to take note of man this is very big step for the women's figures to include all of this I know somebody pointed out that the Miss Elizabeth figure had the double jointed knees but uh, we haven't had that with a lot of other figures so this is a very big step forward and then we have the kick pad feet and the only thing I hate about this is the ankles do not have ankle pivot which really sucks eggs. We need ankle pivot just like the men. If we could get ankle pivot, that would help these figures 60 times more, but double jointed knees do help us out, and this figure definitely feels a lot better than a lot of other women's figures, so I am excited about that, but the ankle pivot is very crucial, so we'll just have to see how I pose her around and everything like that. So never say never to women joining the pick fed, but now that we have seen a closer look at Becky Lynch, guys, let's take a closer look at some Becky Lynch figure comparisons. So getting into the Becky Lynch figure comparisons, guys, you will 
notice off the bat that the new Becky Lynch is a lot more accurate in height. You know, she's only five foot six, so this is nice to see. Uh, you know, her height adjusted because this one is like much taller than this one and her first basic. And you can see here, look at the diff uh, look at the difference in the head sculpt. Like this one in the middle definitely looks way more like Becky Lynch than either of these other two. You know, the the smiling one definitely looks better than this one, whatever the hell that is. But this one looks really good compared to both of them. You know, I never got her Elite 49 figure because I wasn't big on the women's Elite figures and stuff like that, so I never grabbed it. You know, I never picked that up. I'll have to track that figure down. There's also some other basics that I'm missing. I also have another basic that has this head sculpt, so I didn't want to include it because it's the same head sculpt that we've seen. However, this is really crazy to see the comparison between all of the head sculpts. And the Elite 72 by far and away blows the other two away. I'm really happy to have this Becky Lynch, man. Looks really good. She's a freaking boss. No Sasha Banks intended. But that pretty much does it for our Becky Lynch figure comparisons. But I believe that about does it for this 2-in-1 Elite Action Figure Review. Guys, I'm very satisfied with both of these figures. Batista and Becky Lynch looking very good. This is easily the best Becky Lynch figure. So if you're any of a big... If you're a Becky Lynch fan like me, if you're a big Becky Lynch mark, you're just farting all over the room for Becky Lynch, you definitely want to grab this Elite 72 figure. Throw it with your Raw Women's Championship right here. I mean, my God, is that perfection or what? And then Batista, it is definitely the most up-to-date Batista. If you want a Batista that looks like he just recently does in Hollywood then this is definitely one you want to grab. If you're more of a flashback Batista collector, you want something from the early Ruthless Aggression era, or you want something from back in the day, probably not the Batista for you. However, I would definitely recommend this one. I love it a lot. It doesn't have ball joints or anything, but neither did his other figures as far as older ones. His older elites didn't have ball joints either. The addition of the double-jointed knees and the interchangeable hands for the women is fantastic. Also, Becky Lynch comes with the leather jacket. I love the Batista attire. I love the updated tattoos. The head sculpts fire, and I just love Batista, so this is definitely a must have for me. But if you would like to go ahead and grab either of these guys, you can go over to WrestlingFigures.com, Ringside Collectibles, use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. You can pick up all kinds of other figures, tons of pre-orders, tons of accessories, play sets, and many, many more things that you can get for your WWE figure collections, man. It's like unlimited freaking supply of great things over there. So definitely go over there and use the promo code. Help out the channel, and you can help yourself out as well. Get in on all their sales and pick up these epic figures that we love so much. But I think that is going to do it for this two in one figure review guys i had a ton of fun on the review if you enjoyed it please leave me a like comment down below what you think of batista and becky lynch are you personally going to pick these up do you already own them let me know down in the comment section below thank you so very much for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe action figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you